Hey, it's Goo here from Convergence. Today I'm going to be doing another war recap from our most recent farm war against King Lloyd Parker. Um, we won by 13 stars and total destruction was 88% compared to 66. Um, it was another um, mismatch as they have a couple more Town Hall 11 semis and a couple more Town Hall 10s than us. But we pulled through and managed to get the win. In this uh, video, I'll be doing some Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 11 2 stars and one Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 triple. Let's get into the replay. The first one will be uh, number one by uh, number 10, C. Cole. It's going with a balcony attack. Starting off with, with a queen walk near the bottom. Um, putting, on, putting down a baby drag at 6 o'clock. You know, front of the queen. Then put down a raid for the queen as multiple defense, defensive towers are locked onto her. And then he's going to start dropping his two golems. One at around 3 o'clock, and then another at the border at 4 o'clock. Puts down another baby drag tail funnel. Queen keeps walking. Drops some wall breakers at 4 o'clock. Drops his king with his CC uh, bowlers and then his bouts. Puts down a jump there. He's going to rage up his main army. Um, puts down a freeze for the Eagle and some of the Tesla in the core. CC, the enemy CC is going to come out. But the poison is going to slow them down enough for, oh, yep, to take, take all of them out. Queen is still up doing a lot of damage around the base, getting some extra concern. Now I'm going to try to break in at approximately 9 o'clock. By now he has two stars already. Nice 50. Nice 59 percent. Nice shot by Cole. Again, that's two star. Our next one will be by the Legend 27. Coming in under number 22. It's coming with a shattered Gobo attack or some baby drags. Eight baby drags to gain a percentage. Drops his first goal in that approximately 2.30ish. His second at around 12 o'clock-ish. Then drops all his bullets behind him. Puts down his wall breakers, his king, queen, and then more bullets from his CC. Gonna raise him up, put a jump down, put down a heal for them. King's gonna go down really fast. Puts down poison for the CC. But not to worry as bowlers are going to smash their way through the eagle and the queen is going to take out that town hall. Queen takes out the town hall, takes out that air defense and he's going to pop the queen's ability and take out the enemy king and queen. Then he drops his, going to start dropping his remaining baby dragons around the base to get some, um, for two star. Just dropping them wherever um, there's no defenses that can touch them. So anywhere there's like cannons here or like wizard towers that's out of range, you can drop them. Then it's gonna probably save the way you want, but like yeah, there's parts where like archer towers can be shed. Then he still has a baby drag that he still has yet to use. And by now he has almost 60%. Drops his remaining baby drag out of that uh, waste tower. And he's going to end with a 
64% 2 star. Nice job by Showtime. And then we have Gorg on the number 3. A Town Hall 11 ring base. And he's coming with a Queen Walk with a Go Go Baby Dragon. Starts his queen at around 6 o'clock. He had a bow, take out a building at um, 7 o'clock. Then drops a giant for that bomb tower um, to guard his water bridges as he's dropping. But then rage as the queen's low on health as a um, expo and archer tower to target her. He's going to take out the expo and that evil artillery. Eagle's going to go down and then he's going to engage that enemy archer queen. He's now going to drop a rage for it as the enemy archer queen is much more. Drops a golem at 3.30, then more boulders, and he drops more wall breakers, he's going to rage them up. Queen's going to lock onto that inferno tower and take it out with the help from some boulders and trigger the clan castle. It's not poison for them, as it's just more looms. Puts out a heal for his kill squad. To save them from the bombs, um, the looms dropping. The heels has switched target and locked onto the golem instead. Then, once that's set, you'll see that the whole east side has been destroyed. So, he drops his baby dragons for the sole purpose of taking out the town hall and the ghost has it as too. Really nice job by Gore. Puts down the inferno, gets the expo, I mean, puts that free spell for the, probably for the inferno, but it's off a little bit, and we got the expo. Queen still up, and still has a couple boulders. And the inferno has locked on. Really nice job by Gord. Getting the 72% two star. Probably 73 or 74. Those archers. Yeah, 73% two star. Nice job by Gord. Getting that two star. Let's move on, on to the next attack. Will be by Clay on the number four. It's another Town Hall 10 on uh, Ring Base. This time with a to see their soil like a moat to protect the Inferno, the Expo, and the Eagle Artillery in the Town Hall and the Clan Castle as well. They're all in the core, and the rest of these buildings are outside in the rain or outside of the rain. It's gonna come with a Queen Walk and a Gobo and probably Valks uh, for the center. Puts down his King, I mean his Queen at 6 o'clock and had a baby dragon work his way up to help come the Queen inward. Queen's gonna take out that um, enemy Archer Queen and she's gonna work her way in. Another baby drag at that nine o'clock for uh, Barracks. Baby drag's gonna do some more. Take up two buildings before he gets shot down by the two archer towers. Multiple defenses are gonna be locked onto the queen. And queen goes down before he gets the ability. A little mishap, but it's gonna bounce back, starting off with the golem. Um, at 8 o'clock, putting down some wall breakers. Healers are going to go over there and heal up the golem. 
Put some some wall on bowlers. Bowlers gonna take out some outside buildings before it works her way in. I'm just gonna trigger your CC. Or you can put down poison for them. As again, it's just more runes. Then you can see I set up a really nice funnel from six o'clock to nine o'clock. He's gonna drop down his valve, freeze up the core, and raise him up as the valve just tear through the center. So really, the thing with these town hall level ring bases is it'll be it's really nice if you could get a queen walk if you have the eva pillar and clear apart the base and get like a small close wall like or clay there with clay or board or any of the other you plays I showed. Go on some bowlers, take out the other side, then send in Valks for the core or like baby drags like Gore did, and get the second star. Clay had another 10 v 11 that was a 2 star, nice war clay. And then we're gonna move on to our 10 v 10 attack. Will be by Danny. Um, he's coming in on number 11, the coming in on uh, the Town Hall 10 ring base. Uh, he's going to go in with a Go Ball Lava and starts off with some baby drags to help funnel. Then puts down his golem at approximately 730 ish with his heroes and bowlers behind him. It's going to be a heavy lava um, part. As he has three hounds, I believe, one in his clan classroom. CC is going to come out, he's going to drop the poison for it. Yep, he's going to drop the poison for it. A little late on it, so as the poison, I mean, as the runes took out some of his bullets, but no worries. And he's going to start sending his login, just dropping his hound one at a time. And his runes a couple at a time surgically. Gonna haste up his runes now. First sound pops. And then drops his second wave of runes. At that second inferno. I was about to pop. And runes are gonna make it just almost in time. Then more part of his runes are going to that core. And he'll take out that first inferno. And they're gonna make their way over to the second inferno out. Then he drops a CC hound. And he has, he has two remaining moves that help take out those two class defenses. And he still has a heal and two hastes left that he still has to use. And just clean up from there. Nice shot by. Danny getting that 10v10 triple. He swags his haste, his heel on the core and puts on his haste his on the base. Nice shot by Danny. And that's gonna be it for this video. And as always, if you liked it, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. And I hope to see you next time in my next video. Thanks for watching. Get off my lawn!